So myelodysplastic syndromes in a minute. So by definition MDS is clonal hematopoiesis with abnormal maturation of cells resulting in dysplastic cells resulting in cytopenias with various clinical manifestations plus there is a tendency to acute leukemia transformation. And etiology and epidemiology it is more common in elderly it is more common in males. Usual age group is 70 years and the it is more common with exposure to benzene, radiation and late toxicity of cancer treatment agents something like busulfan, topoisomerase inhibitors etc. And the clinical features 50 percentage 50 percent of them will be asymptomatic they will be coming to you with the blood report without any symptoms. Another 50% will be having symptoms suggestive of cytopenias like if suppose they are having anemia they will be presenting with shortness of breath and EC fatigability. If they are having neutropenia they will be coming with various infections. If they are having thrombocytopenia they will be coming with bleeding manifestations like bruising, epistaxis, bleeding from gums etc. Or they can have rarely other autoimmune associations like rheumatoid arthritis, rheumatic heart disease, pernicious anemia, etc. And certain rare conditions like acute hemoglobin H disease, which is an alpha thalassemia like presentation. Differential diagnosis of myelodysplastic syndrome. More commonly, this presents as a pancytopenia picture. So, any drug or viral infection which can produce a transient pancytopenia picture is a differential diagnosis. Other than that, B12 deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency and folic acid deficiency are other causes. And it can be an early presentation of acute leukemia also. And chronic infections like HIV and also present like MDS. The investigation just like other hematological disorders you start with a complete blood count and peripheral smear you will be seeing ovalomacrocytosis that means oval and enlarged RBCs. If you look at the WBCs the WBCs will be hyposegmented and hypogranulated. These hyposegmented WBCs are otherwise called as pseudo pelger hue anomaly. And if you look at the platelet count, it can be normal or decreased and this can have a reduction in number of granules also. So the next investigation will be bone marrow and if necessary you can proceed with cytogenetics, uh, especially in conditions like a 5q deletion. Okay. And the treatment, 50% of them are asymptomatic, you just follow them. And if there is any symptoms due to cytopenias, you can use symptomatic treatment like blood transfusion or supporting care like a GCSF, thrombopoietin receptor agonist for thrombocytopenia, hepatocyte growth factors, erythropoietin, etc. Okay, and certain drugs which are used in the treatment of myelodysplastic syndrome are Lispatercept, which increases the differentiation and proliferation of erythroblast. Lenalidomide, it is used in 5q deletion. Asazitidine is a epigenetic modifier used in MDS. And alemtuzumab is a monoclonal antibody directed against CD52, it is used in MDS. And the only curative therapy will be a hematopoietic stem cell transplantation.